So it's been almost one month since Eugenia Cooney made her amazing comeback by doing her video with Shane Dawson. And it's been almost a month since Jacqueline Glenn came out with her series of videos about Eugenia Cooney. So after a month, how is Eugenia doing? And is there anything that we can learn from this? Of course there is, so stay tuned. What is up everybody? This is Chris from The Rewired Soul where we talk about the problem but focus on the solution. And if you're new to my channel, what I like to do is take different topics going on in the YouTube community, try to see what lessons we can learn from them to improve our own mental and emotional well-being. So if you're into that stuff, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And real quick, some of you know this, some of you don't, but I have a podcast and I've been doing it daily so if you want some more variety if you like long form content if you want to hear me discussing different topics outside of the realm of youtube i dive into all sorts of different topics so make sure that you go check it out it still does have the overall goal of trying to see what things that we can learn to kind of improve our lives and kind of look at different situations from different angles and all that so the links will be down in the description down below make sure you check it out podcast is called a different lens i put up a youtube channel too i've been so busy i have like i don't know like 10 or 15 episodes on there but i need to get the rest up there so you can go subscribe to that if you want i will hopefully have that updated by the end of the weekend all right so anyways yeah let's talk about eugenia cooney and how she's been doing so i want to reiterate the goal of my channel the intention of my channel like i am a firm believer in the idea that we always need to be learning and growing. No matter what we're doing, I believe that that is an opportunity to learn and grow. So when we're consuming YouTube content, I feel like we need to be taking some time after we watch a video and ask ourselves like, is there anything I can learn that might be able to benefit my life? right? And I think we should do this with all situations. When we interact with other people, how about, maybe it's friends, maybe it's family members, maybe it's coworkers. What can we learn from every single situation? So when it comes to commentary channels, when it comes to drama channels, often we're looking at different influencers. And the question is, is this person a good influence or a bad influence? And if we're being honest, most of the videos commentating on different public figures, typically it's pretty critical, typically it's quite negative, and Eugenia Cooney is no different. For a very, very long time, people were making a lot of negative videos about her. And when I say negative, I don't mean like they were all like just bashing her or anything like that, but negative in the way of people were making videos being concerned about her, people were concerned about the influence she had on her audience, and I'm no different. Um, I had a lot of requests months and months and months ago uh, to start making videos on Eugenia Cooney. And as I started to kind of learn more about what was going on in her story, I made videos as well. And here's the thing, like my number one concern, and this is gonna sound corny, but I'm being honest. My number one concern is all of you. It's you, baby, all right? So like when I look at things and I look at different influencers, I look at what's going on, I'm like, okay, whenever I see a video or what's going on in the community, I'm like, how is this influencing the audience so you guys are my number one priority all right and sometimes when i call out a behavior and say hey maybe this isn't a good idea sometimes it might hurt that influencer's feelings but something that we all need to get better at myself included and i'm hoping i accomplish that with this video is talking about the good influences too and you guys i cannot express the warmth in my heart just seeing how Eugenia Cooney is doing. That young woman has done this amazing 180. Like when I first started covering, you know, Eugenia Cooney and trying to see what we can learn from it, like one of my main concerns again was all of you. And I started to learn about people following her for thinspiration. That's something I never even heard of before, right? People were being motivated by Eugenia Cooney's appearance to keep pursuing their own eating disorder. And that's a very scary thing. But with this complete turnaround that Eugenia Cooney's done, we gotta learn from that too. Like, girl, 
Do you follow Eugenia on Twitter? Like, let me tell you. That girl, like Eugenia, her tweets brighten up my day. Like, look at these tweets on the screen right now. And here's the thing, here's what I love about it too, seeing the, the inspiration that she tweets out. I don't know if she's thinking of them herself. Sometimes she does say, I heard this today, or if they're not coming from video games. The reality is, I do not care. It warms my heart so much to see what she's doing. Like you guys, um, working in addiction treatment for three years and just even me being sober for seven years, there is nothing, there is no feeling better than seeing somebody overcome any type of challenge or mental illness or struggle, whether it's an addiction or an eating disorder. Like, I have been involved in so many people's lives and I'm so grateful. Like, I used to joke around with my clients about this all the time. Like, I would see people when they first came into treatment, like right when they're going through detox and they're coming in looking all like, ah, right? Like I did when I first got sober. And then seeing the, the change in them, not only like the physical appearance, but seeing this like restoration of hope, like it is just amazing. And I really hope you guys are, are acknowledging that and being very conscious of that when you're looking at Eugenia Cooney. Like what I love about her is when, when any of us start doing better, when any of us start recovering, you know, we can just stay on our own path and just keep focusing on ourselves and doing our thing. Or we can realize that we overcame something huge and now we can take our story and use that as motivation to inspire others. Regardless, regardless of what you thought of Shane Dawson's video with Eugenia Cooney, I am willing to bet that thousands, and that might be a conservative number, maybe it was millions or tens of thousands or hundreds of thousands, of people, men and women, right, who went out and got help or even considered getting help. Like when people like Eugenia Cooney put themselves in the public spotlight and they let people know it's okay to ask for help, it is just one of the most amazing things and that's something that I try to do with my channel. I learned a long time ago that my experience doesn't have to be this dark shameful thing that I have to carry around with me, right? I can take that old experience, that past experience, that struggle I went through and maybe be able to help others. And it's so awesome seeing Eugenia Cooney do that. And Shane Dawson was the perfect person to help her move in that direction. All right, and like bring her back, it's awesome. And you see those two communicating on Twitter and they like send each other's presents, it is just, amazing so i want you to learn from that and be inspired by that and follow people on you know youtube or twitter or instagram who inspire you and realize like me overcoming my addiction i'm nothing special eugenia she's killing it but she's just an average girl who is overcoming her eating disorder in front of all of our eyes like if we can do it you can do it too all right but the next thing i want to talk about what we can learn from this situation is the struggle that Eugenia has gone through being in the public spotlight, like it is hard enough for anybody to overcome an addiction or an eating disorder in front of their friends, in front of their family members, in front of their coworkers, right? And you see Eugene, Eugenia and like when Jacqueline Glenn made her video, there were a ton of other videos coming out as well with their concern about Eugenia Cooney or her mom and things like that, right? And that, that can set somebody up for a relapse, right? But Eugenia Cooney, myself, anybody in recovery, like we need to realize regardless of what else is happening, regardless of the external circumstances, we need to, we need to stay mentally well. You know what I mean? Like I used to relapse and use what people said and how people treated me as an excuse to relapse, right? So I've been watching, I've been watching how Eugenia handled her comeback and all the videos being made about her, Jacqueline Glenn making the video and everything like that. And I'm like, okay, how is Eugenia going to respond to this? And she's just doing phenomenal. So what we all need to take from that is early recovery, whether you're recovering from an eating disorder, addiction, if you're recovering from trauma or agoraphobia or anything like, 
early recovery is rough. But I want you to look at people like Eugenia Cooney and say, oh my God, like I don't even have millions of eyeballs on me. If she can do it, I can do it too, right? We need to be able to look at other people for inspiration and understand that if they can get through these challenges, if they can get through these hardships, we can too. The last thing I wanna talk about is it's really interesting because when Eugenia Cooney came back, you know, obviously Jacqueline Glenn made her video, um, well, a few videos, and other people made videos like, oh no, you still gotta worry about Eugenia and everything like that. I just checked online to see what videos people have made about Eugenia Cooney in the last four weeks. Not, not really anything, right? Like nobody's like, oh, you know what? Maybe we we're wrong. Maybe Eugenia Cooney is doing well. She seems to be doing well. You know, nobody's making those videos. So I would like to continue to do follow-ups and I wanna do this with more YouTubers and everything and people who are being positive influences. In fact, if you follow me tomorrow, tomorrow, I know I've been kind of up and down with my uploads and not do doing daily lately, but tomorrow I'm going to make a video about how well Taylor Nicole Dean is doing. And those of you who follow my channel, you're like, oh God, Chris, but don't worry. I have an exciting video for tomorrow because she's doing awesome. All right, but anyways, let me know what you have learned from following Eugenia Cooney's uh, journey down in the comments below. And don't forget, my podcast has been going daily, so if you want some more Chris up in your life, make sure you check down in the description and the pinned comment. All right, anyways, that's all I got for this video. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you're new, make sure you subscribe and ring that notification bell. And a huge, huge thank you to everybody supporting the channel over on Patreon. You're all amazing. And a huge thank you to everybody who's supported the channel through getting my books and all that other kind of stuff. All right, thanks again for watching. I'll see you tomorrow.